When the chosen ones are hated so much, this is the reason why people may hate you. It's great to be back among such pleasant company. Thank you. After watching this video, you'll finally appreciate what makes you special and exceptional. There's a lot happening right now, and if I let my mind wander and contemplate it, the first emotion that generally arises is hatred. Those who have been chosen to view this video will, of course, grasp my meaning. Listen, for no reason at all, you will be the object of other people's animosity, disdain, criticism and demeanour. And if there's a reason for it, it's probably because they see something in you that makes them feel superior, and they want to make sure you feel inferior as a result. Your vast, unrealised potential and the hidden qualities in you are only partially explored in this video. Because of this, I often speak about the chosen one. I've learned the hard way that being generous to strangers doesn't win them their affections. Ignore such folks, they simply do not like you. Yet, when the time comes to abandon them, you must resist the urge. You should always remember that you are an altruistic, self-loving and compassionate person who cannot stand being around people who are only thinking about themselves. If someone hates you for no apparent reason, you know deep down that they are missing out on a wealth of compassion, insight and high values. Don't let the presence of naysayers deter you from being kind to others and continuing forward. Before I continue with this unique message, I need to know that you plan to permanently cut ties with any persons in your life who are negative, self-centered or a drain on your energy. All too often, those we hold closest to us have deep-seated resentment for our chosen few because they long for what we have. When someone hates you because they are jealous of who you really are, they are only being human. They secretly hold a grudge against you because you possess abilities they do not. Your success at work, your unique sense of style, your odd interests or accomplishments, or your loud attitude could all be contributing reasons for their insecurity around you. Perhaps you have irritated them without realizing it. The real person isn't an option, so if you irritate them, they'll either be angry or envious of you, or they'll just loathe you. You remind them of something or someone they dislike, and this either makes them feel intimidated by you or jealous of your abilities. If it bothers you, try asking them calmly and politely what you did to offend them. A misunderstanding, as is so often the case, was to blame. Some individuals may become irritated if you don't say anything because you're too worried about what other people will think. If they are getting in the way of your progress and are generally annoying, it's best to just ignore them. As the one who is destined to save people, you may also be hated for being too good. Don't be too good, certainly. It's true that we're constantly drilled on the need of doing the right thing. But there are other ways to deal with the challenges of life, and I'm very sure that they're hurting your sense of self-worth. The word hate is thrown around too carelessly these days. Today, I want to know why you give them the opportunity to treat you badly. If someone were to perform something I found unpleasant for the first time, I'd point them in the direction of the exit. Regardless of how necessary they are, you need to be more brave and tough for the sake of your honor. Learn to relax in your own company without feeling awkward. It's far better than being in a crowd of people who don't like you. There will always be times in life when you have nothing in common with someone you despise. It has happened to me in both professional and personal contexts. Despite the fact that I haven't done anything to earn anyone's resentment, I am always aware of it the moment I enter a hostile environment. It's wrong, and I can see why people feel this way, but there's nothing we can do about it. So, I meditate and recite my mindfulness affirmation to keep those thoughts at bay. Therefore, I ask God to grant me the serenity to let go of what I cannot change, the bravery to take action on what is in my power, and the wisdom to understand the difference. I think some mindfulness affirmation and meditation may help you if you have a hard time letting go of past failures and toxic relationships. Because no matter what you do, some people will always find fault with it. It's not worth your effort to look for the good in every circumstance. There's also the fact that most people probably despise you because of their own envy or general pessimism. Those who doubt you should be ignored as much as possible because you are innocent and everyone has experienced doubt at some point. It was always them, never you. They will react with hatred if you trigger one of their many weak states of fear by doing something they are frightened of doing or can't even comprehend being possible. 
They might not actively dislike you, but some part of them will, because they know how easy it is to interpret your words as egotistic. It was never about you, it's just their own personal battle, and they only have themselves to blame for their inadequate education. It's a common misconception that we have little influence because of this. You might think there's no rhyme or reason to it, but it might be that the way you carry yourself is offensive to those whose beliefs differ from your own. Since I'm pressed for time, I must state matters bluntly. The art of sugarcoating, the assurance in one's words and acts, the assurance in one's stride and actions, and the question of whether or not they despise you because of your confidence. Nothing you can do will help. They have to fix it themselves. People who are uneasy in themselves often take pleasure in your misery and self-pity. On my first day of work, I sensed that one of my new employees disliked me, but I did nothing to rectify the situation. She gives me the cold shoulder every time I pass by. I try to stay far away from her, which must be really frustrating for her. Knowing that so many people dislike me hurts, but it also makes me confident in my own superiority. They dislike you because they dislike themselves. Therefore, you should ignore them and carry on confidently. You can do as you like in this world, and the criticism of others might serve as motivation. If you want my help, I can outline a specific kind of problem. But ultimately, it's up to you to take charge of your life. Even though you haven't done anything wrong, they find you annoying anyway. They are angry and ashamed that you have shown them that they were wrong about life's fundamentals, which you have demonstrated via your very existence as living proof of their utter failure. If this happens once, it's best to be better and stronger and just leave them alone, as you can't wake someone who is acting asleep. Maybe you haven't fully realized the gravity of the situation just yet, but you are the one who is supposed to be awake right now. I call you the chosen one. I'm sorry you still feel hated, even though you haven't done anything to earn their animosity. You've come to the correct place then, because you probably can't or shouldn't try to change the reason for their enmity. Think positively and give yourself more love. If someone hates you, it means they see nothing good in you. If you like this video and found it useful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video.